All right, hey, what's going on, everyone? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Right, there's that date, 220 2020. Awesome. A um, lot of stuff going on out there in the earthquake world right now. A uh, pretty big increase in earthquake activity, uh, mainly over the last 12 hours or so out here in the western part of the Pacific, also stretching through uh, down here through the Philippines and also into the Indonesia Islands area where we've seen multiple 5.0 earthquakes. Let me drop these uh, magnitudes here a little bit. Okay, we'll go ahead and add that 4.8. So this kind of gives you a scale of just the fives that we've seen today. The biggest was a 5.7 up here off the coast of uh, Russia in a subduction area of a little plate up there the pacific plate and the uh oh what's the other one called is I, I can't even pronounce it okoshk plate uh it's a small little plate uh that the pacific plate subducts underneath but we'll get to that here in just a little bit but that being the biggest one in the sequence of uptick and earthquake activity uh, at a 5.1 earthquake over here as well. Let me get an exact coordinate for it. Uh, looks like Lurin, China. Or at least 286 kilometers north northeast of uh, Lurin, China. Um, and activity over here has increased, no doubt. West Coast, relatively quiet in the 5 range, but if we were to bring the magnitude back down here, uh, you can see that they had an uh, inactive day as well. Uh, 4.5 striking off the coast of Oregon out there in the southern part of the uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate or very close to it. Uh, had an odd earthquake up here outside of Montana. Uh, looks like, let's see if I can find that exact location there on the globe. Yeah, okay. 28 kilometers east of Sealy Lake, Montana. 17 kilometers below the surface that earthquake struck. 2.5. Uh, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, no stranger to earthquake activity up there, uh, but I will note that Yellowstone is showing a little bit of um, swarming going on here. Uh, nothing big. It has been kind of relatively light um, over the past day or so here. This is the overview of Yellowstone National Park here, the seismograph stations themselves. Uh, in Wyoming and you can kind of see if I can make that a little bit bigger put that over there a little bit of swarming in the northwest corner of the park and that's near Madison River Purple Mountain um, all those little spike of earthquakes there on the seismograph charts are uh, indeed earthquakes out there nothing big uh, but nonetheless definitely some activity out there some light earthquake swarming uh, going on in the Yellowstone area um, and of course California is still rocking and rolling uh, nothing new to report no odd earthquakes just uh, Ridgecrest region still seeing aftershock activity uh, Puerto Rico region calming down a little bit 4.8 down here in the southeastern part of the Pacific uh, South America relatively quiet some interesting activity down here towards the south part of the globe uh, but after well a couple days ago, I was talking to a friend of mine, and we were talking about how quiet it was. I think I even did an update video about the calm before the storm, and uh, it was relatively quiet. There was no activity. Uh, if there was, it was very minimal uh, to where we were kind of concerned. Uh, but now we're seeing a major uptick in earth earthquake activity just within the last 12 hours, and it's interesting because it's all been a bunch of fives and a bunch of fours in here um, and that tells me right there that something out here is about ready to um, pop off I guess if you will with a little bit larger magnitude um, but we'll have to see what happens as the night progresses and into tomorrow but uh, it's just way too much way too much of an increase in activity uh, to ignore this like I say it's this here is just the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. 2.5 and above uh, US and then 4. Point, uh, what is it? 4.5 and above? Or 4.0 above. 
um, from the USGS here. So there's other earthquakes out here taking place, but uh, uh, well below four. But definitely, uh, it's got my attention, and uh, it's something to watch, including out here in the state of Hawaii, out here in the Pacific Ocean. A little bit of interesting earthquake activity out there. We'll go over here to a different map so we can zoom in on this region. And let me fix that real quick here. Okay. So this is the overview of the big island of Hawaii. And uh, activity taking place near the hill. Uh, hold on a second here. Zoom in here on my side, it's super small, and I'm not for sure why it did that. Okay, this activity here is just one day, all magnitudes here on the big island. Um, and it's pretty much confined in an area near the, uh, uh, man, I have problems pronouncing that. Hel Helena, I know the slump is over here. I've done a video of the Helena slump. Um, but this is around the Helenia fault system. Um, all these little faults here. Kind of seeing a little swarming of earthquake activity there. And it's rather deep as well. We're seeing activity mainly down around uh, 37 kilometers or so below the surface. So a little bit of uh, strange movement going on there. No surface quaking. Uh, so... Potentially, we could see some um, activity in the volcanic uh, department. Like I say, that's pretty much just uh, one day right there, and that's cut kind of a kind of a big deal there when we're seeing some deeper activity like that in that region. So, kind of keeping an eye on that area for sure. Off the coast here of the Big Island, we're seeing uh, well that most recent earthquake right there. In an undersea or underwater uh, ocean volcano down there on the surface. That's this 2.5. Right there, 2.5. This one a little bit shallower, striking at about 10 kilometers below the surface there. And this system, one second here. Loihi. I looked up that pronunciation. Lo Ihi. Yes, I did. Otherwise, I was going to pronounce it like Lo Ihi or something like that. So, anyway, I looked it up. I'm tired of pronouncing stuff wrong. But Russian stuff, I just cannot, I cannot pronounce the Russian words for the life of me. Or Chinese. Uh, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to spit those words out, I guess, if you will. Anyway, Lo Ihi, Lo Ihi is a seamount or underwater volcano on the flank of Mauna Loa. The Earth's largest shield volcano. Now this earthquake right here is striking really close, if not right on top. Uh, we're pretty close to that area of the volcano that I just mentioned there, Loihi. Um, I did a little bit of looking around on it, and it's like I said, it's an underwater volcano down there on the ocean floor, and it's. Uh, I guess it had some earthquake activity back in 1996-97 where they had about 4,000 earthquakes or so. Um, and uh, yeah, about 4,000 events. I was just reading here on the USGS website here of, of volcanoes. So seeing earthquake activity out there, not, uh, not a big deal. But it is a big deal when we're seeing deep movement um, further to the north here by about 20 miles or so I believe is the scale um, where that uh, earthquake swarming is taking place near the Helen Helena slump region so we're definitely monitoring that activity up there as well um, like I say we could see some uh, we could see some activity going on here in the volcanic department like I mentioned uh, if this thing keeps up like that Either way, uh, you know, it's uh, 
it's all volcanic activity out here, right? If you really think about it. A lot of uh, islands being built up over many, many, many hundreds of thousands, millions of years out here. And uh, that will continue in the future. But I figured I would bring up that interesting earthquake activity out there. Uh, just because we haven't really seen too much in the way of uh, activity in the Hawaiian region. Yeah, here and there we see a little bit of activity, but uh, the deep movement, that's kind of what I'm watching right now. Uh, excuse me, I thought I had hiccups. That's not good. Uh, swarming in over here to California. Nothing really new to report. I mean, we're still seeing pretty much the same activity that we've seen uh, during the last update video. Small mi uh, minor earthquakes, aftershocks up there near Ridgecrest. Also right around the southern part of the state as well on the Pacific Plate side uh, down here, which includes uh, a lot of these areas down here. Just some microquakes, folks. Uh, nothing really to report in that area. And as we travel up along the San Andreas Fault section there, there's a little cluster of, of quaking going on along the creeping section there. Um, wouldn't feel too concerned about that right now. And here's that... Uh, Where to go here? That was a 3.3 on the south part of the Gorda Plate. I know we had a bigger one up here off the coast of Oregon. Where did it go? Okay. That's kind of strange. I'll have to look that up here in a minute, find out what happened to it, unless it's just off of this map. Uh, but I did want to run over here to the Russia area real quick and take a look at that 5.7 that they had earlier in the subduction zone up there. Uh, that's going to be this specific earthquake right here. And here's that weird pronunciation that's on the left side of the screen. I'm not going to pronounce that. Um, if I did, it might be considered uh, profanity. So I don't want to say anything bad out here. But... Uh, yeah, this earthquake here is striking about 33 kilometers below surface here. It's on a uh, interesting point here, or an interesting fault system. And uh, we can take a look at that. Uh, let's see where that image is at here. Hold on a second here. I'm trying to get a little bit better view here. Okay, see the... Okay, I guess you can kind of make this out here on this image. Let's get rid of that. See if I can make this a little bit bigger. Okosh plate? I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Up here to the north right here. This is kind of where we're seeing that uh, earthquake activity. And this image is not the best when it comes to viewing. But uh, either way, this played a part in that major 9.0 earthquake that struck Japan back in March 2011 that you know did all that damage to the uh, nuclear facility Fukushima and also created massive tsunamis uh, in Japan so this uh, this specific plate system here is no stranger to major major mega thrust earthquakes here uh, it is a subduction zone where the Pacific plate subducts like I mentioned subducts beneath the Okosh plate um, and many like I said many strong earthquakes have occurred on this one not to mention the 7, the 9.0 2011 but there was also some big quakes back in 1737 ranging from the estimate magnitudes of 9.0 to 9.3 um, and that was called the Kamacha Kamachaka earthquakes uh, also, back in 1952, they had a 9.0 within that region as well. So strong earthquakes can occur uh, in this region relatively uh, rapidly. It is a subduction zone. So there's a lot, uh, definitely a lot at play there. 5.7, not a big deal out there, but it's it's uh, it's worth mentioning. It's kind of hard to see that plate there, but uh, 
You can see Tokyo right there in the middle. The 9.0 is going to be that uh, white black circle there. Shows you the direction of the plates. Uh, and uh, kind of looks like it's getting squeezed there, but there's a there's a lot of lot of force being in play here in this in this plate section. Here's another view here. Let's see here. Oh gosh darn it. I'll get it right. I'm tired. I'm just my nephew wears me out, man. Little little kids running around, just staying active. It's uh they definitely wear you out. So here's another view, folks. North American plate, Pacific plate. You got the Aleutian, West Aleutian area over here towards the east. Um, so that whole plate right there, the darkened shadow, I should say, um, is the Okash plate. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. I should have looked it up, but that one I just wasn't even, I don't know. I was just, just going to go with that pronunciation. So it is what it is. Uh, the blue arrows kind of look like a cold front, right? The blue sharp arrows along the line. To me, that looks like a cold front in weather terms. But it's actually the subduction area right along that plate there where the Pacific plate, like I said, subducts beneath that small little Osh plate. And um, that's where we've seen that uh, 5.7 today, just up, relatively up to the north, almost at that triple junction point, or not triple, but kind of like a point in the area where it says West Aleutian um, up there towards the north and the east. Kind of right there in that uh, point of an, of an arrow, so to speak. So I'll drop this so you guys can see. Just inland though. But uh, I don't think we've seen anything else in this region within the past seven days. I'm going to check here real quick. Seven days, magnitude 2.5 and above. Not much at all. And this one being, this one today being the biggest, 5.7. Uh, so it's something to watch, folks, with all this increased earthquake activity. Um, especially out here in the Pacific Plate region and uh, in through the Indonesia area as well as the Philippine Islands there seeing the 5.4 um, so just a big increase and uh, something big feels like something big about ready to brew out here uh, I was just talking about Puerto Rico calming down now they just had a 3.0 um, but either way activity in this region and Puerto Rico area has somewhat quieted down compared to recent weeks and that is a good thing for the folks over there so we'll bounce back and forth here between uh, a period of quietness and a period of rather large uptick and uh, we'll see what happens here I will be on the stream most of the night monitoring like I say it almost just seems like something that's brewing towards something uh, pretty big here in this area. Not going to pinpoint, not going to predict, but uh, it's definitely worthwhile to mention that uh, it could it could uh, could be building up out here. Some of these are pretty deep as well. Uh, let's see what this five point. Uh, oh, there's a couple deep ones right there. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, anyway, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. And uh, like I say, we keep the stream up and rolling. I will do some updating if uh, it is warranted out here, uh, which I think it will be um, rather soon. Maybe tonight, maybe uh, tomorrow morning. Either way, uh, we'll be here on the live stream monitoring and uh, kind of keeping an eye on things here. So. Hope everyone has a great day out there, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later.